food cravings hey are you like me i love chocolate mm -hmm. and sometimes i really like a good ice cream not just like any ice cream like a nice rich ice cream mm -hmm. my name is grace bukachi and you're watching sitam church online mm -hmm. i love jesus as my personal savior mm -hmm. and i have sister shaleen from sitam fika road who is in the health practice and nutrition things and you've heard me say how much i like my ice cream yes. and my chocolate yes and zufu and nyama choma kwanza mbuzi choma hata nina salivit say nina kwambia hivyo imagine is something wrong with me wow it is important to know what your body is communicating anytime you have a craving mm -hmm. the body is communicating and we teach you to listen to your body mm -hmm. and to address the need. Mm. So anytime you're craving for chocolate, mm. what is lacking or what are you mm. suffering as an inequality in your mineral trace? Mm. We need now to handle that. That is a deficiency in magnesium. Now, without you having to go and address that with chocolate, mm -hmm. you need now to do at least your mineral trace element inequalities, mm -hmm. it is a test that you can, that can help you determine these inequalities. Because okay. most of us, we address it with food. Yes. Then that food, if it is sugary food, mm -hmm. processed food, mm -hmm. it will also affect your metabolism at some point. Okay. Because you are not addressing the need. Oh. With the right mineral, you are addressing it now with what your body is craving, craving for. for. So, okay. talking of craving, yes. we need to know that inequalities in branching amino acids mm -hmm. like tryptophan. Eish, what are those? Those are branching <laughs> amino acids yes. and also in minerals like calcium, yes. it will lead to a craving. When you have a, a craving, mm. like now for example for the mm. chocolate, mm. Dark chocolate is good, okay. but remember in health we talked about the principle <laughs> of moderation. moderation. But it is important to address these inequalities. Okay. If they are not addressed, they will lead you now mm. addressing that craving with the wrong food mm. and anything you do in food, I'm the just, consequences are there. I'm just wondering, and sorry to cut mm -hmm. you short, mm -hmm. you talked about calcium. Yes, yes. And I know perhaps some mothers, young mm -hmm. mothers are watching mm -hmm. me, or even fathers, yes, or... Yes people in different age groups. Yes, yes. And we've been told that mm -hmm. calcium is found in soup. Not everybody enjoys bone soup. Mm -hmm. um, is it potato, sweet potatoes? Mm -hmm. uh, but also calcium tablets, especially post-COVID, mm -hmm. people now know vitamin C can be bought in tablets. Mm -hmm. How can you help us get, like, in? even though it can be a craving, you know, I've found mm -hmm. people who crave crisps mm -hmm. of different kinds. Mm -hmm. um, how can you help us pick mm -hmm. um, um, proper greens, mm -hmm. vegetables mm -hmm. that will, like, like you're telling me, when I crave my my chocolate, I I, I eat what? No, <laughs> it is important to know that when you have uh, magnesium deficiency, mm. apart from supplementing that with supplements, mm. you need to know nuts whole grains oh. will supply you with magnesium. Oh, like nuts, all nuts? Nuts. Sim sim, They are range of, those are, we have seeds and nuts. Here we're talking mm. about nuts, almonds, cashew nuts, hazelnuts. Mm. These nuts, they address now the magnesium deficiency. Okay. So instead of going for chocolate, yes. go for nuts, right. go for whole grains. Okay. When you're craving for calcium, yes. you tend to take oily foods. Yes, is it? And what you should be addressing the calcium deficiency with, uh -huh. green leafy vegetables and also organic milk. We have <laughs> almond milk, such. You're telling us, you're here, I've been telling young people to eat greens. Yes. Sorry, those greens that you're refusing to eat mm -hmm. will add to calcium. Mm -hmm. So spinach. Green leafy vegetables, green. we have organic greens. Okay. We have several. Okay. And name there are some. many. Name, name. We have spinach. Mm -hmm. We have kales. Mm -hmm. And they are quite... I know not everybody likes broccoli. Broccoli, those or, are cruciferous vegetables. Okay. And now when it comes now, when you're craving for salty foods. Yes. Salty foods. Yes. There we go. You find somebody is adding salt to the food even without tasting. That's a craving. Uh, yes. Another one is craving for sugary foods. Wow. So this person craving for salt. Yes. Is lacking chloride, oh. zinc, 
So those are deficiencies. Wow. If addressed with salt, yes, there will be a detriment to your health. Oh, because you'll overdo yes. something that you're not supposed to to okay. do in excess. Wow. So when you craving now for salty foods, mm -hmm. how do you address it? Mm -hmm. Address it with nuts. Yes. Address it, address it with fatty fish. Mm -hmm. Address it with also. Uh, we have goat milk, yes. cheese. But some of these things are not easy to find, Charlene. I mm -hmm. mean, I'm talking perhaps to millennials, maybe in the cities they are yes. able to get these things. Mm -hmm. But because we want to find out the facts and truths of mm -hmm. cravings, yes, yes. I think I'm hearing you saying mm -hmm. the correcting the lifestyles perhaps we've engaged in. Mm -hmm. um, and so that when that craving comes mm -hmm. uh, for me what one of the things I find nice to do mm -hmm. is I carry a container with nuts and mm -hmm. I mix them all up yes so that if I'm feeling um, that and I've managed to kick the chocolate habit away mm -hmm. but th just a handful mm -hmm. of nuts helps to to turn the craving mm -hmm. and if you do it like a habit yes you have a habit of snacking on uh, on healthy snacks mm -hmm. like nuts mm -hmm eventually you're out of that wow. deficiency. It's only that now we want a quick fix, instantaneous yeah. gratification, mm. whereby instead of going for nuts, mm -hmm. we have an excuse that they're not available, yes. they're expensive. Yes. Actually, healthy foods are not expensive okay. because we can get natural food, mm. even in the local setup. Wow. You can imagine these cravings, they have affected the people in the urban setup. Mm. But what we have, People will go for instant food, mm. whereby they take less time to even process yes, that food yes. instead of going to mm. the natural foods. Yeah. So the body communicates. After you feed the body, the body will communicate in form of a craving. Oh my. Because it's not got what it's supposed to have. To have. You know, as we bring this to an end, mm -hmm. I'm just thinking, mm -hmm. well, I've had many stories mm -hmm. um, in my little life um, eat greens, more greens, so I know people who become vegans mm -hmm. and so they eat a lot of raw mm -hmm. vegetables. Mm -hmm. In our African setting, sometimes we want your food really nicely fried, mm -hmm. nice onion and a lot of oil. Mm -hmm. You know, thankfully the oil prices are very high now, we don't use a lot. Mm -hmm. But as we bring this to a close, mm -hmm. how can you help us? And again, feel free to look into that camera mm -hmm. as, as you're helping me yes. and helping all of us mm -hmm. to know what do we substitute? You've talked about nuts mm -hmm. for um, when we have salty food issues, mm -hmm. sugary foods you've also said. Mm -hmm. Hey, but this, there's somebody who told me mm -hmm. their food cannot lack meat. Meat. And when you don't serve a, some beef or mm -hmm. something red, mm -hmm. chakula, yo si chakula. Mm -hmm. how do you bring this? How do you help us? In this By the way, clothes? Reverend Grace, I'd like you to know that the taste ends here. What? So, it is important to know, whatever you feed, it will translate to something. Okay. Is it going to supply your body with the nutritional supply that is required, mm -hmm. or is it going to create a deficiency? Whoa. So, again, I want to take you back mm -hmm. to the people who crave for caffeine. Yes. These are people who are suffering from fatigue. Oh so, dear, I was about to raise my hand. For this caffeine, they will always <laughs> go for, for Coffee stimulates. Coffee stimulates that will lead now to acidity in your body. Ouch. So what they need to know, they can go for cruciferous vegetables like broccoli. They can go for sea salt, apple, boiled Carrot eggs. Sticks. Can you imagine? Salary. Herbal teas. Oh. They'll address that. Okay. And alkaline drinks because we have alkaline. Okay. Decaffeinated. So this craving is communicating that the body is at a state of need. Mm. You need to know your inequalities before you go to supplementing. Oh. As you are addressing it with supplements, mm -hmm. you need to know how much do you need to do? Wow. How long wow. are you going to do that? Wow. And how is your absorption rate? So it's the importance of actually having a checkup. Checkup and also the information that yes. we are going to give you. Yes. We'll have more sessions of this yes. so that we can create this awareness. Wow, thank yes. you. Yes. Well, you've heard it from Charlene. I truly appreciate the gift God has given you 
in the area of just alerting us to the, the right things to eat, the food, and if you're going to supplement, what then? And you're welcome to carry on this conversation with us. If you haven't subscribed to Seatum Church Online, please do, because this our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit. And if you don't take care of this flesh, mm, it will it will say so. And my prayer is that you wouldn't have to be one of those who your body gets into a state where you've not taken good care of the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we'll see you next time on Sitam Church Online. My name is Reverend Grace Bukachi and I was hosting Sister Shalene uh, Mary. God bless you. <laughs>